All right, hey guys, this is Gage here. It's been a really long time since I've done a video, but this is gonna be a little update of what's going on in the garden area. As you can tell, I don't remember how much I showed before, but it's very different from last year. You would have seen long beds going that way, 50 foot long, like the urban farmer style beds. And there would have been an electric wire around, which I kind of still need that, since these little guys are still getting out every once in a while. Still have the old cinder block garden, but we have these four new raised beds and more coming soon. We are gonna put another one here and they're just gonna be lined up like this all the way that way and all the way that way, but it requires money. Each of these beds are approximately $45 a piece to build. They are just two 12 foot two by sixes. These are 12 foot by four foot. So two 12 footers on each side and then two four footers on each end. And they're just screwed together using a two by four to brace in the middle. So you screw screws in this way into this board and then you screw it from this board in that way very simple but here we have in this bed we have sweet corn and green beans and they're succession planted those are the oldest and then those are about a week and a half later and then from a week and a half on that date which will be middle of next week i'll plant another succession and i think that'll about fill this bed and then over here we'll start here because that one's kind of connected with this one we have asparagus this asparagus is going to seed so it's kind of getting stringy but we have one two three four five six plants here and we have a row of radishes just growing in there because we got all this room on the outside and then i have spinach and stuff planted here it's just starting to come up you can see and some carrots and kale and stuff in here and then over here we have a later bed this was planted like two weeks after this one of asparagus also. We have one, two, three, four, five sits. So the same amount came up in that one. We lost two plants in each one. This one just happened to be the two end ones. There's a middle one and an end one over there. And then over here, this is a little different. We have popcorn. We have three rows of popcorn. And then we have radishes running in between. These radishes are almost ready to harvest. We will show harvesting those radishes when they are. And then we have two rows of colored ornamental corn and then we have two rows of miniature ornamental corn so the small little ears that are like that big then we have three little rows of spinach i'm gonna harvest some of these tomorrow and then we have tomatoes these were just transplanted so they're going through a little bit of shock they're all bent over and i just went through and tilled around all of these except for there i'll do that tomorrow or sometime uh, I tilled around it to keep the weeds down. Eventually, once the beds are all in place, we're gonna have landscape fabric and have wood chips in between. And then, in the cinder block garden, we actually don't have much going on out here this year. We have some cabbages that will be coming up, and we have some broccoli and some cauliflower in here. So that is about it. And one more thing, big announcement. My garden stuff and my personal sort of stuff is all going to be going to a different channel uh, later on. The channel's not made yet, but when it is, I'm going to post an update here. This channel, I'm going to try and rename it, and it's going to be all the farm stuff. So it's going to be more tillage and stuff like that, which we're almost done. We're pretty much done with tillage for corn this year but we are still tilling for beans, so there might be some disking footage. I haven't gotten the drone up in the air in a while. Right now, Dad's planting organic corn down the road, and Uncle Billy's baling some hay. He's been bringing in bales for those barns. We were gonna put all our hay down, but we decided we didn't have enough time to, or we didn't have, me and Dad were working on crops, and Uncle Billy was the only one doing hay, so we didn't have enough manpower to do all of our hay. So we just put down six acres, and so far we've gotten like 10 bales from that. And he was just breaking into the headlands. So there's a lot of hay in that field, and we gotta get it done because there's it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Thanks for watching.